And photos definitely help tell the story of the immigration crisis. And today there is a new picture. It's one you've probably seen. It's a lifeless man and his baby girl floating in the Rio Grande. Yeah, it is the picture that is driving the immigration conversation today. It is truly heartbreaking, and we want to warn you, it can be disturbing. This is not the first time that a devastating photo has driven this debate on mm -hmm. immigration. Melissa Correa is using pictures today to explain exactly how we got here. 2006, President George W. Bush gets moving on the border fence. National Guard troops help as a part of Operation Jumpstart. 2007, Congress discusses but never votes on comprehensive immigration reform. 2013, the Obama administration creates the DACA program for people brought to the U.S. illegally as kids. 2014, a rise in violence across Central America sparks a surge of people in South Texas. Border Patrol catches, then releases families because agents don't have enough room to hold them. So many children are illegally crossing alone, the feds build this processing center in McAllen. It's the first time we see kids in chain link cells. 2015, the surge slows, but people and drugs keep coming. 2016, more rescues, more busts. 2017, the Trump administration announces the end of DACA. That court battle begins. 2018, this photo of a Honduran girl in South Texas goes viral. We learn children are separated from their parents at the border. Protesters storm that processing facility in McAllen as a cap for unaccompanied kids opens near El Paso. In December, the government shuts down in a battle over border wall funding. 2019, the Trump administration implements the Migrant Protection Protocols, which keeps asylum seekers in Mexico until their petition is processed. The federal government sends troops to the border. Waves of asylum seekers inundate border bridges. Texas sends more troops to the border. And Monday, frustrated by the backlog at a bridge, a man from El Salvador is found with his arm around his daughter. They died trying to sneak into the U.S. Those are the kind of photos that make your stomach turn truly heartbreaking. But I think we can all agree that mm -hmm. something needs to be done.